let's talk about Tracy and Alan's blossoming romance on Asterisk, the young and the restless Asterisk. It's full of sweet moments, the playful flirting, shy smiles, hand-holding, and warm embraces. It's a love story that feels like a dream. However, we're starting to wonder if things are just Asterisk too Asterisk perfect. Is this fairy tale about to take a dark turn? Tracy just brought her new beau home. Not to introduce him to the family, as they already know him from Ashley's recent troubles, but to officially present him as her boyfriend. We all expected the Abbott brothers to be protective of their sister. After all, she's the heart and soul of the family. And we weren't wrong. Billy and Jack welcomed Alan warmly, thanking him for his help with Ashley. But of course, they had plenty of questions about his intentions toward Tracy. Alan, as usual, charmed everyone with ease, handling the situation with grace. So why can't we just relax and be happy for Tracy? Well, it all started in Paris, when Tracy mentioned needing to go to Los Angeles for a meeting about her book being adapted into a film. Alan's reaction was, odd. The respected psychologist suddenly pushed aside all of his professional commitments to jet set across the world with her. What should have been a romantic gesture instead raised a red flag, or maybe four. We don't know Alan all that well yet, but it seemed out of character for him to abandon his responsibilities so easily. Still, we tried to brush off our doubts and enjoy Tracy's newfound happiness. But then, when they arrived in Geno City, something fell off. As soon as they stepped inside the Abbott home, Alan looked around the room and said he wanted to take it all in, even though he had been there many times before. Tracy even pointed it out, but Alan quickly covered it up. Despite his attempt, a feeling of unease crept in. Later, they headed to society for lunch with Billy and Jack. Alan once again played the devoted boyfriend role to perfection, making it almost possible to dismiss those nagging suspicions. That was until the conversation took a surprising turn. When Billy asked how they planned to make things work long distance, Alan dropped a bombshell. He announced that after Ashley's treatment was completed, he was ready to leave Paris, his practice and his speaking engagements to move to the U.S. for Tracy. This grand gesture floored Tracy, but it also clearly caught her off guard. It's a massive decision to make so early in a relationship, and once again, it felt like Alan was acting strangely out of character. Combine that with the earlier unease, and fans began to wonder, is Alan really who he says he is? Could he actually be his evil twin, Martin? Yes, Martin, the twin we all thought died after that terrifying fall from the balcony. It seems impossible, right? We know Alan was the one who returned to the house after the fatal fight, as he was still wearing the casual knit shirt in bluish-gray, while Martin had on a gray sweater over a button-up shirt. There simply wasn't time for Martin to swap clothes with his dead brother before Ashley ran downstairs. But this is asterisk, the young and the restless asterisk. And in soap operas, anything, including people rising from the dead and evil twins taking their siblings' place, is possible. Which is why we're afraid that Tracy may be heading for heartbreak or something even worse.